Hello, you are welcome. In this video, we are going to compare between 40 raised to the power of 40 versus 39 raised to the power of 41. We will find the bigger number between these two numbers. Now, what we are going to do is we can decide to divide this number here by what we have here. So we are going to have 40 power 40 divided by 39 power 41. And that means we will have faces 39 power 41 divided by 39 power 41. So right now we will have 40 power 40 divided by 39 power 41 faces. This will give us 1. That means if the numerator is smaller than the denominator that means we will have a number that is less than one and if the numerator is bigger than the denominator that means we will have a number that is greater than one that is how we are going to go about comparing so right now what we are going to do next is we can have 40 power 40 divided by 39 power instead of 41 here we have 40 plus 1 and this will give us 40 power 40 divided by we make use of this identity equals a power n times a power m so we will have 39 power 40 times 39 power 1 so from here we can have this will give us 40 power 40 we have divided by 39 power 40 times we can have it as 1 divided by 39 so the next thing is we have 40 here we have 40 here we can combine them and have 40 divided by 39 or raised to the power of 40 times 1 divided by 39 so from here we can further rewrite this as 1 plus we have 1 divided by 39 and this is raised to the power of 40 times 1 divided by 39 remember if you multiply this out you definitely get 40 divided by 39 so from here we can have 1 plus 1 divided by 39 all raised to the power of instead of 40 here we can have 39 plus 1 times 1 divided by 39 so making use of this index rule again because we have plus here remember this equals a power n times a power m so that means we are going to apply it here and definitely we are going to get 1 plus 1 all over 39 raised to the power of 39 times 1 plus 1 divided by 39 raised to the power of 1 times 1 divided by 39. So this is in the form of 1 plus 1 all over n or power n which is e that is Euler's formula. And the value of E is approximately equals 2.7182. So that means the whole of this, we are going to replace it with a number that is less than 3. Because this value of E is actually less than 3. It will never get to 3 irrespective of the value of N. The value of E will never get to 3. So we will use it with we are going to replace it with a number that is less than 3. So that means we will have a number that is less than 3 times this 1 plus 1 divided by 39 times 1 divided by 39. So at this point, since we are not making use of a calculator, we can use 3. So this is the maximum value that E will actually attain 
do. There is no value that will make e to attain 3, but we are just making use of 3 as the maximum value. So we have 3 can cancel itself 1. And actually, what we are going to do here is we can change this back to its original form. So we have, let me still have 3 times, this is 40 divided by 39, times 1 over 39. So from here we can then cancel. 3 cancel itself once, cancel 39, we are going to have 13. So this will give us 40 divided by 13 times 1 divided by 39. So if you multiply this out, you have 40 divided by 13 times 39, you have 507. Now, if you notice, the numerator here, is smaller than the denominator that means we are going to have if you divide this you have a number that is less than one so since the numerator is smaller than the denominator and since we are having a value that is less than one that means the numerator remember our numerator was 40 power 40 and we were dividing it by the denominator which was 39 power 41 so since this number here is smaller than what we have here, that means we can say that 40 power 40 is less than 39 power 41. So this is the end of our comparison problem. And we have been able to find out the bigger number between the two numbers. So that is it for this video. I believe you enjoyed the class. Please don't forget to subscribe. Share this video to your friends. Thank you and goodbye.